Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for the sign of Gemini. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the messages that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magic or spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. All right, Gemini. Let's see what spirit has for you today. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. So we have death. So right off, you know, there is some type of ending, whether this is you or someone in your energy. <clears throat> but um, when it comes to this ending, there is going to be a new beginning. Peace. Yeah, I feel as though whatever this ending is, um, whoever this person is, they, you know, have lived, you know, a toxic, negative life for a long time. And I feel as though they're ready to, you know, end their toxic ways and, you know, release all the negative energy, negative people, places and things from their life. I feel as though whoever this is, they want to end something and they want to, you know, do it in peace. They don't want to have, you know, any type of issues about ending, you know, whatever this is that they're trying to end. Whether this be you or someone in your energy. Guilt. Yeah, whoever this person is, whether it be you or the person in your energy, this person is um, releasing, you know, basically releasing guilt. They're releasing, you know, any anything that, you know, no longer, you know, helps them in, you know, their spiritual growth. So this, this person is, you know, trying to end something to start a new beginning. They want it to do it peacefully. They don't want to have, you know, any problems because, you know, they ended something to go towards a new beginning. They are releasing, you know, everything that no longer serves them in their spiritual growth. And I feel as though whoever this person is, um, yeah. They've been going um, over and over in their mind about, you know, all the things that could have possibly took place in the past. And they, you know, they definitely felt guilty about it. But this person, you know, is releasing all the negative energy to be able to move forward towards a new beginning. Spirit, why is death here? Hold on, y'all. Fell on the floor. <clears throat> All right, so. This is my slow to act card. So whoever this is that, you know, is um, ending something to start a new beginning, um, they are, you know, slow to act. They are slowly trying to, you know, end whatever this is. And I feel as though because whatever they're trying to end, um, whether it be, you know, with a person or a place or a thing, I feel as though that it could get out of hand. 
whatever the situation is. And I feel as though this person just, you know, wants peace. They want to be able to end the situation peacefully and without guilt. Peace. Why is this here, spirit? Woo. Flew out. Yeah. This is my intuition card. Trust your intuition. So, um, yeah. This person, when it comes to... Yeah, they're solely... Uh, they're so to act when it comes to ending something. And they're, you know, using their intuition and trusting their intuition to, you know, end it peacefully. I feel as though this person, you know, is kind of planning. It, they've planned to, you know, um, they plan this ending. And I feel like they're, you know, using their intuition and they're trusting their intuition so that they can do it peacefully. Guilt, why is this here, spirit? Yeah, this is my all tied up card. So yeah, um, so I feel like this is you know a relationship situation. So this person could be you know ending something with someone to go towards someone else, and they're using their intuition to do it peacefully. Because I feel like whoever this is that they're trying to end something with. Uh, <clears throat> won't allow them to, you know, go peacefully. They're trying to keep them, you know, all tied up and all stuck, you know, in a toxic situation. And I feel as though, you know, with this rope and guilt here, that they that they feel a lot of guilt because they stay tied to a situation instead of ending it a long time ago. And I feel as though whoever this person is, Gemini, they also feel guilty because they're slowly, you know, acting. They're slowly taking action to end something in the situation and I feel as though again they know that they should have ended this situation a long time ago I'm going to put the camera down just a smidge there we go Spirit, why is death and iguana here? So, on top of Death and Iguana is the Bear card. Um, so, you know, this could be, you know, someone, you know, bearing a child. Um, and so, someone could, you know, be thinking about, you know, ending, you know, a pregnancy. Simply because it could be, you know, too much. I feel as though this person, you know, is using their intuition and trusting their intuition um, when it comes to this, this situation. I feel as though whoever this is um, that could be bearing a child, I feel like there is something going on that um, basically puts you in a position to have to decide to, you know, end it or to, you know, do whatever else is needed to make sure that, you know, you're, you're healthy and everything like that and so I feel as though if you know if this is a pregnancy situation um, yeah I mean you're it the baby is tied to you yes and you know you're probably carrying guilt because you have to you know cut the string but at the end of the day um, it's gonna be peaceful and you know if it's about your health I feel as though you're doing the right thing if this is about a relationship um, this person, you know, is, is slow to take action to end something because there is someone that, you know, is basically um, being a bully in their life. So, 
but <clears throat> this also could be, you know, um, someone that is, you know, like, you know, kind of stocky, kind of thick, kind of bearish. They could, you know, have just be a hairy, you know, have a lot of hair. Um, you know, they could be very physically strong. But whoever this is, yeah, they they uh, they went through a lot to even get to this point. And I feel as though, you know, they're trying to cross the finish line, but there is something, you know, in the way that, that, you know, is causing them to slowly take action. To, um, you know, bring whatever the situation is to an end. Peace, invest. Yeah, they're using they're they're using their intuition. Yeah, they're trusting their intuition to you know be, be you know at peace with everything and to you know release all um, guilt that no longer you know serves their highest good. I feel like yeah, this person whoever this person is, um, they definitely want to come towards you, but there definitely could be someone coming towards you with some type of information. Um, I mean, it could be your person. Yeah, man at the bottom of the deck. So it could be, you know, your person. But there is some type of someone is either, you know, coming towards you. Um, and this person could be a little bit overbearing. Or this is you. Um, or, you know, like I said, there is some type of message or information or something that, you know, is coming towards you. Guilt and rope. Yeah, I can't make it up. Book. So, yeah, this is, you know, uh, secrets under lock and key. You know, information under lock and key. Um, this is just, you know, this could be wisdom and knowledge. Uh, this could be some type of teaching. But I feel as though um, whoever this person is, um, where this guilt comes in is they are guilty from being, you know, all tied up in a situation and basically trying to keep it a secret from you. Or this is you. <clears throat> yeah, the sun at the bottom of the deck. But unfortunately for this person, you know, whether you know it or not, it's definitely going to be revealed to you that um this person you know was all tied up and basically you know they're slowly taking action and using their intuition to you know get out of this situation Death and Iguana, please, Spirit. Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah. <clears throat> They're solely, you know, taking action to end something with this Queen of Pentacles. Um, this Queen of Pentacles could be, you know, overbearing. This Queen of Pentacles, you know, could um, basically, you know, be trying to bully your person or this is you know you some someone is trying to bully you this queen of pentacles take it how it resonates um but i feel as though your person is very much stronger than they were in the past and i feel like uh your person is ready to face this situation and you know take it head on and end it to start a new beginning iguana and well iguana no bear and queen of pentacles Yeah, two of wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, told y'all. They are planning, you know, to... to and They're planning and they're using their intuition to, you know, do it peacefully. Yeah, I feel as though, because this Queen of Pentacles is overbearing and like a bully, that they probably will cause a lot of chaos, havoc, and pandemonium, you know, because this person is ending it with them.
Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Three of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're planning to, you know, they're using their intuition to do it peacefully because they don't want to break your heart anymore. Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They've already reevaluated everything that took place in the past, and they feel as the, and they are guilty about it, and they feel as though moving forward, they do not want to, you know, cause you any type of heartbreak. So they're so they're planning to, you know, use their intuition to peacefully get out of the situation. And I feel as though this person is praying to, you know, spirit for peace. Peace and best spirit. Yeah. Seven of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person is using their intuition to, you know, release all negative energy so that they can be able to peacefully um, transition. I feel like they do want to come towards you. <clears throat> but I feel like as though that you have this person blocked, you're very um, protective and guarded because you feel as though this person still has a lot of um, unspoken secrets. But I'm also getting that this overbearing Queen of Pentacles wants to come towards someone, but they're blocked out. And, you know, whether it be you or your person, you're protecting your energy because you're at peace. I feel like this is you. You're at peace. And I feel like that your intuition is telling you that this Queen of Pentacles wants to come towards you um, to keep you tied up in... Uh, a situation that you really didn't know anything about by, you know, basically opening up the book of secrets and spilling all, you know, secrets that have pretty much nothing to do with you. Um, but this Queen of Pentacles wants you to feel guilty because, you know, once they come towards you with this information, they want, they're going to want you to feel guilty because they want you to think that you were tied up into, in this situation. But I don't feel like that you really, I feel like for some of you, you knew about it, but you weren't tied up in it. You were just basically brought into a situation blind. For others of you, you didn't know about it. But whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, yeah, I do feel like that this person is going to, you know, cause a lot of problems. With this person, you know, trying to end it with them. Vest and Rider, please. Yeah, and I'm getting to that, you know, whoever it, whether it be you or your person, you know, you're using your intuition to, you know, be at peace and to, you know, do, do operate in peace. I feel as though, um, your intuition is going to tell you, you know, to basically guard yourself, um, you know, stay protected from, you know, this, this person and, 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 and for real, don't even listen to the, the information. If this person does come across you and they want to spill, you know, some information, don't listen to it. Do not listen to it. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. Yep. Yep, because this person, you know, just wants you to feel left out in the cold. They want to come towards you, uh, you know, to spill some information because they want you to be left out in the cold. Um, but when it comes to your person, I feel as though, yeah, they want to come towards you, but you have them blocked out and they feel left out in the cold. Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles. page of cups yeah they do want to apologize mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. spirit why is guilt and rope here
five of wands mm -hmm. yeah so this person you know was all tied up in this situation and they feel guilty because they had you in competition you know they <clears throat> whoever this queen of pentacles is could have been you know trying to cause conflict with you could have been you know trying to fight with you or you know this is just uh them feeling guilty because family members were trying to come against you know the uh you and them because they were already with this queen of pentacles but i feel as though um this queen of pentacles wants to come towards you to you know open up the book of secrets and i i feel like it's about you know a lot of conflict and fighting so you know maybe this queen of pentacles has you know secrets on your person but I mean, at the end of the day, that has nothing to do with you. That was in the past. Rope and book. Wait a minute. Yeah, rope and book. King of Swords. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five of Wands, King of Swords. Yeah, they want to tell you about, you know, all the secrets. Um, they want to tell you, you know, open up the book of secrets and tell you all the conflict and competition and fighting and stuff that, you know, your person, you know, was doing in the past. Mm hmm They want to, you know, tell you how, you know, they went through all this with your person all this conflict competition and you know but your person they do feel guilty because they were stuck in this situation um and they possibly do have you know some some unspoken truths about some type of competition conflict or whatnot but they do want to talk about it they want to talk about you know everything that they put you through and they do want to apologize and they don't want to you know break your heart anymore Three of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. Temperance. Yeah. They're now, you know, ready to create a balance between you two. Page of Cups. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this person wants to apologize, but, you know, temperance... They want to create balance, but this person is going through karma right now. Will of Fortune in reverse. And, you know, it's because of, you know, everything they took you through. Um, everything that they were doing in a negative energy, you know, they're getting karma for. And I feel as though these unspoken truths need to be uh, spoke about. Because I feel as though... That's why this person is going through karma as well. <coughs> Nine of Wands. King of Wands, yeah. Yeah, but they do. They want they do. They want to come forward and speak some type of truth about, you know, everything that they took you through because now they're confident enough. And, you know, this <clears throat> whoever your person is, you know. Basically, they're willing to, you know, fight for, you know, the connection with you. And they're willing to, you know, face their, you know, bad karma head on in order to be able to create balance with you. Temperance. Yeah, because they love you. They love you a lot. King of Cups. You know, they're very emotional for you. They're very passionate about you. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ooh. Yeah. And they made you wait a long time. And, you know, that's another reason why they're getting karma. But, yeah, they want to apologize because they didn't bring anything to the table. You know, I don't know how long you were with this person. But they didn't bring anything to the table. They didn't, you know, create any type of financial wealth, you know, during this whole situation and all they did was make you wait and now this and now your person is is slowly waiting king of wands mm -hmm. 
Yeah. They made you wait? Yeah, because they were having sex with a lot of people. And they want to speak on it. They want to tell you everything. Or, you know, this could be, you know, Black Magic and Spells, Seven of Cups, King of Cups. Yeah, the devil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The devil. Yeah, in the past, you know, they were toxic. They were doing in a toxic relationship. But now they want a new beginning in love with you. Ace of Cups. Three of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, they made you wait for a long time while they were still, you know, in the devilish energy. But they want a new beginning in love and they want to come rushing in. But I feel like because they made you wait for a long time, it pissed you off. Knight of Swords. Yeah. It pissed you off so much that you turned the anger into strength. Seven of Cups. Mm hmm Yeah, so whether it was Black Magic and Spells or, you know, many options. Um, yeah. The person was stuck because of it. Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. All tied up. Yep. Two of Cups. Yep, they were all tied up in the relationship. But they just want to be happy. But again, I feel as though they're going to re reveal to you that, yeah, they're ready to, you know... A walk away from that situation and come towards you the star because you are their wish fulfillment um and also they've healed from you know juggling you and you know the Queen of pentacles they want to communicate yeah about a new beginning and they want to come and take action um when it comes to you all right gemini Let's clear the canvas so we can get, you know, the outcome of the message. Give me just a sec. What else do the Geminis need to know about this situation? Stork. So, yeah. You know, someone could either, you know, be getting some news about a pregnancy. Or, um, this is just, you know, birthing of a new beginning. Yeah. Garden. So, yeah. It's going to be a beautiful situation with a lot of growth. Mm -hmm. Some communication about growth of this situation. Yeah, putting in work market. Ship. So, yeah, um, your person definitely wants, you know, a new beginning. And, you know, I feel like it's going to be a beautiful you know, beginning. I feel like it's going to be very, very abundant. This person does want to communicate with you about, you know, working on, you know, the situation. Um, I mean, 
the 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 waters are rocky, but the ship the ship is still you know moving. So I feel as though that um basically yeah uh your person is coming coming towards you. They're working on coming towards you. Yeah, bouquet. I mean, they could possibly yeah want to you know give you uh you know a gift maybe some flowers but this is you know just beauty and purity and things of that nature so your person wants to come towards you and you know they're going to make sure that they are you know of the light they don't want to be negative toxic anymore um but this is definitely going to be you know a beautiful thing because um this person you know was using their intuition you know to basically assist them in, you know, ending the situation. Spirit, what's, what's the outcome of the stork? Yeah. Trust your intuition. So, yeah, that's what your person is doing, is trusting their intuition. When it comes to this new beginning. <clears throat> Garden, please. What's the outcome? Mm -hmm. Focus on the wrong things. So, yeah, the outcome is that... Um, you know, while your person, you know, is basically making things right, um, you know, the, the Queen of Pentacles is definitely going to be focused on the wrong things. Um, but I feel like in the past, you know, the reason why your person couldn't, you know, come and do what they were supposed to do in the past is because they were focused on the wrong things. Birds, outcome. But I feel like when it comes to this focused on the wrong things, um, I feel like that it's this Queen of Pentacles that's going to be focused on, you know, your garden instead of, you know, trying to grow their garden, pretty much. So when it comes to, yeah, the communication that your person wants to come forth with, I feel like that, you know, their intentions are going to be pure when they're communicating to you, that they're trying to work on coming towards you. They're trying to work on, you know, um, creating, you know, maybe financial wealth, um, you know, whatever this is, but their intentions are pure. What's the outcome of, you know, the work market spirit? So, sweaty pits, nervous, guilty, and anxious. So, you know, this could be your person just, you know, um, just kind of nervous and anxious, you know, about, you know, the work that they're putting into coming towards you. You know, maybe they are nervous and anxious because it's a little bit slow and they feel as though you're going to walk away. Outcome of the ship, spirit. Yeah. Free at last. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah your person is coming towards you. This is the outcome. Um, they're working on coming towards you because, you know, they're going to be free at last from, you know, that toxic situation. Bouquet. Bouquet spirit. toxic energy so yeah yeah so the outcome is you know they were in toxic energy they were doing you know um toxic things but they want to make sure that they come to you as pure as possible you know no toxic negative energy at all yeah they're free at last from the toxic energy yeah and i feel as though they just feel guilty and nervous because they know that they should have you know um did the work sooner to come towards you and to free themselves. Spirit, what else uh, do that Jim and I need to know about the outcome? Yeah, 
yeah we have masculine energy and real love so yeah real love true love so um your person definitely wants to you know is definitely putting in the work to end something to come towards you you know the outcome is you know their intentions are pure they are nervous because you know they're you know putting in the work but it might be a little bit slow because whoever this queen of pentacles is is probably trying to make it hard for them but the outcome is they're going to be free and you know they're going to be free of the toxic energy and they're going to come to you you know the way that they should have came to you a long time ago but this is your real love and this is your true love gemini so your person is on their way i hope this resonated if it did please like comment share and subscribe and i will talk to you guys soon